Welcome back to the Hardcore Challenge Season 4, Episode 5. Today we are going to be getting after a number of the early game missions. We are going to be tackling Stirrup, Delivery from the Past, and BP Depot, as well as a number of PvP moments, and some very challenging deaths. I die a lot in this episode, so if you're looking to see me fail, and you might want to learn some lessons, this is definitely the episode for you. So, challenging days ahead, so let's get after it. Yeah, I seen the hideout teaser today, yep. Must be getting close. Ooh. Please. I gotta get uh, stirrup. Woo! I thought I killed him initially. I'm surprised that I didn't kill him with the first barrage. It looked on point. Leave? I'm trying, but... It was hitting his helmet? Oh, okay. Getting a little greedy here. A little greedy. Okay. Yeah, there's a Selua that's uh, nearby that I can use. Should probably utilize it. Uh oh. I heard movement over there. Nothing wrong with a little greed. Eh, sometimes he can get you killed. I mean, I hurt him, but he's got a helmet on. Oh, did he just get blown the fuck up? Someone's throwing nades at him. Maybe for Grenadier. Holy shit! <laughs> no way. That kind of cheese is that kind of aggravates me a little bit. We held that angle. Yeah, that was a player. That was a player scab. Looks like a giant turd on my screen. It's not a pistol! Ah! 
Jesus. Shit, man. That sucks. That could have gone way better. Member, deadly woo. We're just going to get killed by a player scav. Like, the longer I stay in there, the more they're going to keep spawning in. The more they're going to keep pushing in. I can't stay. I'm out of ammo, so... What the fuck is this? Can't do. I'm pinned. That's more like it. I don't really want... I don't really want to kill him, you know? Like, I could try. I could try to kill him. Just for the sake of completing stirrup. But I feel like that's kind of cheesy. Kill him for the quest? I don't even know where the hell he is actually now. I mean, I could just kill him to do it. Uh. Just died. Just says he died. Twitch friendly died. He disconnected before I could get the kill. That slimy son of a bitch. Well, actually, you know, I'm kind of happy with that. I don't need that sling. TTV, by the way. Might as well have killed him yourself. Well, I think that's why he DC'd. What happened to his gas mask, though? Yo, I'm going to read the article about the hideout right after this, okay? How much time we got? Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, there's a guy here. He had a fast MT. Damn, that sucks. Uh, they must have been on the same team together. Why are you playing on a high ping server? Um, because I unfortunately over the last couple of days I've been getting sniped very, very hard. So I have to enable almost every single server in the list to increase the, the random. Oh god, there's two of them. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here for a minute. These guys don't seem like they have that much armor, but they do have a vet for hunter. I gotta increase the server selection. Whoa. There's two of them. Oh man, I was landing shots, just not good enough. Damn. I was definitely landing. He was taking some damage. They must have just been going low and into his body armor. You know, I ran out of ammo, boys. We got one kill. That's all that matters. But that sucks. I almost got the second. Let's go! Another guy. 
I saw bears in this area. Goodbye. Okay. No magazine? Oh no, what is this? What the fuck? What? What? Kills two players, killed by the fucking AI, like no problem. What the fuck? I just got like three tats by a Makarov in the thorax. All right. Well, at the end of day three, you can finally start to see the tables are beginning to turn. I am under 50% survival rating for the first time, which honestly, survival rating is a way of measuring your own personal performance. You can definitely compare it to other people if you wish. Just know that everybody plays Tarkov a little bit more different. So some people that like to stay in their raids for longer periods of time, avoiding contact of other people, they're certainly gonna have a higher survival rating than those that specifically go in and PVP nonstop. So it is just like I said, however you play the game, it gives you an idea on if you're playing worse than normal or becoming a better player. For new players that are starting out, it is actually a really good measurement of your success. You might start this game with a 10, 15, 20% survival rating. After a couple dozen hours, you'll start moving to 30s and 40s, which is really good. That's average, I believe, for Tarkov. So yeah, don't get too hung up on it. I certainly do because I play this game so damn much. But uh, it's time to start moving into day four. And now we begin day four, which was the most challenging day for the hardcore challenge, in my opinion, day four and day five together, extremely difficult days. Uh, in this raid in particular on customs, I spent most of the raid, like 30 minutes, looting filing cabinets, only to get ambushed by two players at my extraction point. Very disappointing. We had lots of matches, lots of duct tape, and I wasn't able to swing it. I was just hit too hard. The moment that I was peeking, they went back into cover, waited a little bit. I got flanked on the left-hand side and killed. Really, really tough. Wow, what a war. Pretty sure he's got a face shield on. Mission? The mission's inside. Oh, good, good fight. Let's do some hatchet runs, boys. I just hit that guy twice. I didn't see the blood splatter on him. That was bad. So you hear me say it's time to do hatchet runs. I decided to take an SKS into factory and I got killed again. So Something that I like to do if I'm really struggling is to go and do some night raids. A little bit more chill and casual. I can get in, kill some scavengers, and leave the raid. And I was able to successfully do that here. <laughs> Naked, never go into the forest. Man, I remember I used to call this Sherwood Forest because scavengers used to be in there. And that was back whenever scavengers could shoot through trees cleanly. Ugh. Oh no, where was he? I'm tired of playing games.
You guys ready? So I feel like at this point, most people would just give up. And initially I was going to, I started hobbling towards the scab, but I realized I needed a bit of a break. So I wouldn't mind hobbling around interchange just to look for some painkillers, just to take a little bit of a breather because things have been a little bit intense today. And I'm kind of glad that I did. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Holy smokes. I'm having a great start of my vacation watching you and enjoying some whiskey. If you like Lagavulin, I can recommend oh. Ardbeg. I love Lag Lagavulin. We're back in business, boys. We have 12 minutes. Daisy, you can. Oh, 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 we have a gun. We have a gun. What am I doing? We have a gun. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. I got it. We're good. Oh. I need the other box of ammo. I gotta get the PBM. I gotta get the PBM. That's right. Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Broke my leg. Dude, that was the long con. It was. It was the long con, man. <laughs> what a weird raid. Ooh, what the hell? I mean, that kind of sucks. Simply because I don't have a mag for it. Too bad this didn't have ammunition inside of it, you know what I mean? Like, how awesome would that have been? Okay. Alright. Yo, boys, I know this is- Oh, wait, no, I actually- uh, I need this, actually. Shit. I need that full AKM as well. Soap. This guy's been busy. <clears throat> what the fuck is this raid? Yeah, I don't even know anymore. Sniper scav, sniper scav. Good. I'm pretty sure we're good. Now that I've temporarily recovered from my death streak, it's time to focus on delivery from the past. For those that don't know, that's the mission that requires you to get the customs key, grab the document, leave customs, and then plant it on factory. This is easily one of the most difficult missions in the game for new players, so it's always daunting, especially on hardcore. That's another scab, that's another really good sign.
You're on interchange more than factory. Yeah, but you're not really on. Well, I guess with Ragman, you're on interchange fairly early. Oh. Okay. Whew. Yeah, early game is very much missions on customs. Then it kind of moves over to shoreline and interchange. That pocket was a key card. <laughs> Uh, you still to this day hate running factory? Okay, let's go. Do I use foot pedals for leaning? No, no. Does anybody really do that? That's interesting. Mark does that? I thought Mark uses uh, the pedals for push to talk. Foot pedals equals R like MLG. I just use Q and E, man. Q and E is fine. If you're getting into the try hard department, maybe you should. That doesn't sound like fun at all. Now for the second part, I almost always do this on Night Factory. I just rush towards the drop off location, but I really didn't want to die considering how this day has gone so far. So I put on my Killa helmet, I put on my Killa armor, and then just lay down and hope that if anybody comes up behind me and tries to shoot me in the back of the head, that I absorb the shots, finish the plant, and die. Thankfully, I didn't run into anybody and I was able to get this part of the mission complete, ending the task. I know he unlocked it. Oh, dead scavs here. Someone's over there. Pretty sure I just spotted him. Dead sniper scav too. Oh, I just heard someone hit barbed wire. Could also be scab boss in at dorms. Right, we're going to hold out on this one. Okay. Scott, I think it's probably Scott Boss. All right, subtask complete. Yeah, I do. I do sometimes. Oh, damn, a pair of swordens. That's pretty sweet. What extracts? We only have one extraction. Like... <clears throat> this like... Oh man, we got a guy nearby. I don't know why, like, customs kind of gets uh, shit under the stick if you get the wrong spawn. The one... Look 
Why are they on me though? That sucks. Well, now I, I wonder if this guy's gonna stay in his raid or if he's gonna leave. Oh, he left. Okay, good. Or not. <laughs> oh, man. That got the adrenaline going, that raid. Don't let them get cheeky. Well, I'm glad that we got that one done. You're probably wondering why that was so intense. Well, BP Depot on Hardcore means that I have to spend a lot of money to actually buy the markers if I die. So I was, it's one of the only missions where you actually get the markers, so you don't, you don't have to buy them yourself. So if I was to die because those quest items are not allowed in my secure container, I had to shell out over 30,000 rubles just for another attempt. And because I'm trying to work my way towards the Lucky Scab junk box, that makes this very difficult. And I really do not want to fuck it up. So the fact that I got this done on the first try was a big win. Now, although I've really struggled on day four, I was able to bring it back and stay at 47% survival rating. Even with all the big challenges at the beginning, things started to really turn around when I started focusing more on the missions and doing night raids to gather supplies and to do things with a little bit more or less um, aggressive players around. And also with nighttime raids, I can sneak around the map without being so uh, easy to be seen. So that was also very helpful. But guys, that is going to conclude this episode of the Hardcore Challenge, episode 5. We are moving away from day 4 into day 5. So definitely stick around. It gets even more difficult from here on out. A couple more challenging days before things start getting really, really, really good. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've been watching the streams. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.